This is Bram Luyten from Admire and in this video I want to introduce a number of tools that we've built into Google Sheets to work with the DSpace spreadsheet or CSV exports. CSV exports have been part of DSpace for quite a few releases and they are a very very popular feature. The public documentation on this is available in the DSpace 5.x and 6.x wiki uh, spaces as um, under the headers of batch metadata editing. That's what it's called. In a normal version of DSpace, or at least in XML UI, you need to go to a specific collection. So if I go to a specific collection, I can export the items or at least the metadata from a menu that's called uh, export metadata. And that's available in uh, any installation of DSpace. However, in open repository specifically, you can go to any search operation or anything that you find as a result and you can also use the export button to uh, create a CSV export like this. I will go now to Google Sheets where I have imported one of these uh, spreadsheet exports and um, the tools that I'm going to show you today are primarily for processing these CSV export in something that you can more easily use as an, uh, as an internal report or to do some additional analysis or processing of these sheets. Because these sheets are also used for batch metadata editing, meaning downloading, editing and re-upload, there's a lot of information in there that you may not need in every report. For example, in uh, fields like the author fields or subject fields, you uh, very often see these authority keys. So if it's not just a string value that's stored, but if you also have an authority key, uh, you have these, auto these opaque authority keys followed by their confidence values, which, which may not make a lot of sense for, uh, for your own reports. Another problem that we want to tackle or another thing that is not, uh, not always super handy is that DSpace allows the storing of a language code together with a metadata value. And for each combination of language code and metadata field, you will see an additional column in your spreadsheet exports. So getting rid of the language codes and unifying all those values into single columns is another thing that we, uh, that we want to, to do today or show you today. And then a last... Uh, issue is that many of the fields or maybe many, many of the columns are not uh, super useful for every report. So typically you will want to select just a few columns. So let's say that I have ID, I have uh, the authors or I have a few other columns uh, and then I easily want to delete everything that I'm not interested in. So in order to do that, we've developed something called the sheet you're seeing here called Admire CSV Power Tools. It's available through the bit.ly link bit.ly slash admire CSV power tools. And to work with this, you can create your own copy of this sheet. And then you have the initial setup tab that gives you some explanation on how you do the, the necessary permissions to allow code that is um, programmed into the sheets to execute. And then we also have a tab with a user guide, a user guide that tells you uh, what you can do with these power tools. So I immediately want to jump into the first example, the one where we were talking about those uh, authority keys where we have a value, separate authors, and we actually want to get rid of these authority keys for a specific report that we're making. All of the features that we've created are available through this menu, the Admire menu, where you can then invoke these, uh, these operations. So if I go ahead to, the, to this uh, sample sheet, I can say, for example, I select these two, or I can see even select the, the whole column, but I will just select these two. And then I will click remove authorities and voila, the authorities are gone. Let's uh, do Apple Z, like this is the un undo feature just to, to undo the sample sheet. It also works on, on a field like this where you have multiple authors in the same, in the same one. So this way you can, you can create an export or you can modify your sheet uh, to, uh, to not see these authority values for your reporting purposes. The second use case or the second problem to address, actually we already see it here with, uh, with the author field, is that um, we have several author columns, uh, an author column here without a language code, one that, uh, that just has the empty brackets, one that has EN, one that has ENGB. 
Because our demo repository is a demo repository, people modify, we import and export with the different APIs. So, so getting in a situation with a mix-up of language code is not that uncommon. Um, so for this operation, we will choose consolidate multilingual columns. And if I do that, it will actually create a second sheet just to be safe. So we will not do any changes in the, in the original sheet that we're, uh, that we're using here. Um, but there is a copy in another sheet where indeed these values have all been consolidated. So I have a single column here, DC contributor, none, none anymore with the language codes and all the values are neatly um, concatenated to each other with the, with the separators, with the double pipe separator in between. So that significantly already reduces the number of columns and then we can just go ahead and do, do other operations. So for the last operation that we currently have in our CSV power tools is the deletion of columns that you don't need, which is basically an inverse selection and a delete. Let's say that in my report, I'm just interested in um, the authors and then maybe the, uh, the DOIs, the DOIs and um, the title. And then I can just say, delete the unselected columns and then I have this neatly report just with authors, DOIs and titles that I can then uh, export, uh, download as an Excel or do something else with it. So we think this addresses a number of use cases or things that people have been uh, talking to us about. If you want us to develop more of these CSV power tools or if there's anything else you would expect out of these uh, spreadsheets, especially for the openrepository.com service, but also for any DSpace repository, Please make sure to let us know.